Uh, well, it's a, a story of of a, a guy who is searching for his own heartbeat and um, discovers it by playing air drums. Um, I guess people have been talking about it as an air drummer comedy, which which it is on the surface, but it's also, I think, a, a, a spiritual and emotional journey. It started as a character that I was playing in various venues. I played I played power at an air guitar competition, which does exist, unlike air drumming. Um, I played him at various sort of like comedy clubs, open mics, stuff like that. Um, and I made it, some shorts on video with his character, which I intended to put up on the internet. And as I was finishing this series of like five of them, I realized I didn't want to put them up because I wanted to make something bigger of it. We shot for 13 months. After raising money for the third portion of the shoot, which was a full like eight months after the first portion, because we shot all over the country, and I was raising money for the, the New York portion. and. Um, put together a great crew we had secured these locations that were really hard to get and uh i was it was the night before the shoot i was showing the cameraman not really for technical reasons but just for a laugh showing him how i was gonna run into a telephone pole which was something that at that point i was intending for my character to do because he's running for a phone he's looking for a phone and then he runs into a phone literally or he doesn't actually now in the final mo movie, but I said, he's gonna run like this. And the, the, we were on the piers of the New Jersey, uh, Bayonne, New Jersey uh, piers. Um, and there was a pole without a telephone on it that was on, on the dock. And I ran into it like full speed, like I got a sprint going and just slammed into this thing and broke my arm. Um, and when you're doing an air drumming movie, having a broken arm is not, not good. It definitely felt like f the fates were telling us that we had to try harder. <laughs> One of the last days of shooting, we were in, the, um, in a power plant in the mountains of Utah, and uh, there was a storm, and the power plant lost power, which apparently doesn't happen more than once or twice a century. And so our camera was out there in the winds and they told us to go inside the like main sort of control room. And we say, can we go to can our, get our camera? And they said, no, there's a fairly decent chance that this place is gonna explode, in which case you're slightly more likely to survive if you're here. So this was typical. I didn't so much think of Spinal Tap when I was making it because the comedy is very different. It's not, um, mockumentary or rockumentary. Babe is one of my favorite movies and structurally I I watch Babe a bunch of times you know just getting the screenplay right I just feel like that's one of the most beautiful in terms of like triumph sportsy movies I mean not that Babe is exactly a sports movie but it's a story about someone who wants to be something and has an impediment to getting there you know it's a, a pig who wants to be a sheepdog and uh, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. People laugh when I say that. You're slightly laughing.